So we had a change of plans and we've come to Chiftik Winery again because if you like white noise, you will love it here. Yeah. See you later, chickens. Good morning, guys. It is Friday here in Skopje and we are heading down to Bitola to pick up Christian. My memory card, I don't know how much room I have left because I literally just recorded this and then it just told me it didn't record. So hopefully it's going to record for today and then I need to start uploading more stuff onto my computer because I have not started editing any of the holiday yet at all. So we are, as I said, we're going down to pick up Bitola. We're hoping to have a little wander around there. There's a lovely mountain. Here it is beautiful. Like Macedonia has so many mountains and just such beauty in it that we have not seen at all. And we, we don't mind. And pretty much everything is like two to three hours drive, like furthest to the other side of the country, which is not far at all. Like yesterday, literally was just half an hour from here. It was so, so beautiful. And I feel like it's an untapped area that not many people know about. So I'm glad that I can share it with you guys if you've never heard of it. At least now you know. We've been having a great time here. We've gotten used to it a lot. It is different to Australia. We do feel like sometimes some of the safety standards are not to what we're used to in Australia. We were saying yesterday, like when we we're on the mountain and we're walking along at some stages there were railings, some stages there weren't. And we're like, Australia would never allow a no railing anywhere. Just a lot of the places that we've been. Also, like on the streets, the cars just drive. Like if there's a gap, they're in. There's no rules there is rules but you know it's that kind of driving method bikes are on the footpath they're on the road scooters are everywhere so it's kind of that you always just got to keep your wits about you so if you're someone who likes to just like look at their phone as they're walking i would not recommend walking around here because uh, you really need to see where you're going last night we went to eastgate went to the shops we just literally we just kind of walked around actually sonia did buy a bracelet i did end up getting a cardigan so let me show you guys Oh, let me first show you my look for today. So I'm wearing this dress that I've worn a few times. I, it's comfy because I don't have to wear like shapewear underneath. So I'm going to wear that because we see in the car. I got the shoes that I bought from here. They're super, super comfy. I'm wearing these earrings from Lovisa and I used my sister's hair straightener. Well, the Dyson to kind of like just blow dry my hair because I washed it this morning. This is the cardigan that I got. Let me try it on. Okay, this is what it looks like. There's a C for chippy, but it is definitely my taste. It is cropped. It's knitted, it's winter in Australia, so I'll be able to wear it as soon as I get home. And I actually got socks, but I must have forgotten them at my sister's downstairs. I'm just gonna gather my stuff and then head on downstairs with the rest of the gang. Well, as in my sister, Angus and Nathan. <laughs> so we had a change of plans and we've come to Chiflik Winery again because the road was, we felt it was not travel worthy for us. So we've come to a place that we know. This time we're sitting on this end. You can see the cars over there, so cool. And then we have Sonia and Angus. Well, Angus is reading the menu, Sonia's on the phone. Nathan's looking on the menu. Nathan got pizza, Angus got a pizza. Sonia got chicken. I got the meatballs and they come on a bread roll and I got a piece of Angus's pizza. So we're all in the car now and we've picked up Christian. There's Christian that we've missed him for a couple of days there. We did have breakfast in Chiflik Winery, which I, I record a little bit with you guys. As I said, we couldn't make it to where we were trying to get to. We met up with a few of Christian's relatives there and now we were on our way home and then we thought, you know what, we have the whole day ahead of us and we're going to go to Khrushchevo. So that's about an hour's drive from Bitola north. So, and it's on a mountain, so we're gonna go check that out. So I'll bring you guys along and I'll show you guys what's going to be there because there, there are things to see there. There's lots of things in Macedonia. There's lots of cities and we do have some time today. So we're going to check that out. And we made it to Khrushchev. We made it up the mountain. It's actually such a pretty place. It's on a mountain and we've driven through the little kind of center bit, which is quite so European looking, so lovely. So now we're, we're at I'm guessing this area would be the Tosha. Tosha Perevsky was a very famous Macedonian singer that died young. This is the city that he was from, so there's a memorial here and there's some more things to see. It's very lovely. It's in winter, it snows here and it's lovely. It's a ski city. And there is actually wild horses here. They're just... Maybe not so well. Someone probably owns them, but they're just here. There's no fence, nothing. They're eating. A bit of forest there. I just had some chicken that I gave to the dogs somewhere. They've gone now, looking for more food. We're making our way up this path. Oh yeah, I can see it through here, the white. 
Okay, we made it to the monument. Oh my gosh. The air, as Christian said, is thin up here, but also so many stairs. <laughs> well, we also did, we were doing stairs yesterday. This is an area, I guess, where you can sit. Because I have seen, they have had little like concerts and stuff on there. We've gone inside. Those windows are pretty. This is Nikola Kardev. Well, they must have done the flowers over Italy then, I would say. Which was a couple weeks ago? Or a week ago? Nathan! Nathan's trying to catch a lizard. <laughs> Nathan! <laughs> Seriously! <laughs> See how he acts dead? Yeah. <laughs> he was so dirty, bro. We're now going into the memorial house of Toshe, or his full name is Todor, but we all knew him as Toshe. So we're not allowed to record inside, this is the only bit, so I thought I'll record here and then we'll see on the way out. So today is Saturday and this morning Sonia Angus and I, we went to the Friends Cafe, it's called Central Perk, but it is in the theme of Friends. And it looked really good, like they painted things purple, there was the couch there, there was the kitchen area, there was so many things, so we had a nice look around and we had some coffee there. I had a Bounty coffee, it tasted really good, it was a cold one, it was delicious. and we are going for lunch in this area. It's, I think it's a restaurant on a boat. That's the restaurant and it's the shape of a boat from the front. I don't know if we can see it unless we do another view, but it is on a lake over here. It's a little building here. Here's everybody over here. And it's kind of, this looks like a newish area. Oh my God, look at these doggies. It's like a newish area, I would say, because I've not known this before, but uh, it looks quite pretty. So we're seated on the outside of the boat. Uh, so we're sitting on the outside of the boat and it's literally, let me show you the floor. So it's pretty much like a wharf, and if you look behind me, I don't know if you can tell, there's like a gap literally just behind me. If I move my chair, I don't know, 20 centimeters back, I'm going to fall into the water. But it's, it's a really nice view, and every time though someone walks past or moves, everything kind of goes up and down, so you literally feel like you're on a boat. It is a shape of a boat, so I'm assuming it is a boat. And the water is, I don't know what water that is. So my Google map says it's called Lake Mlados. And there's got some hotels and stuff around here. So it would fall under Veles, which is not too far from Skopje. It is now dinner time and we are meeting up. If you watch my vlog, Tiazora was here from Australia. Uh, no, she was from Australia, but she was in Australia. We're here with her sisters. And I'm vlogging on my phone. <laughs> the girls. <laughs> Nani, Sonia and Angus. And she's all <laughs> And we're sitting at a lazy Susan table. Not working anyway. I actually don't know what a turtle is. Good morning, it is our second last day here. It is Sunday, we actually leave for 
I guess, well, we're going to Geneva tomorrow. But today we are going to another city called Strumica. There's meant to be some waterfalls there. So we're going with my cousin Goran and his family. And we're going to check out the waterfalls. And then we're also going to eat lunch, I guess, there. We'll see where the day takes us. It is nice and early. We're meeting here. Well, we met here at the, his house at 7.30. We're just, we'll also be doing a few trips with our bag. So I've already packed my suitcase and then we're dropping it off here because five suitcases do not fit in one car. So we did some yesterday, we did some today, and then tomorrow we only have two left. But it is such a nice, quiet morning. Hello, kitty cat. Hello, kitty cat. No dog treats anymore. <laughs> oh, my hand probably still smells on the treat. But the kitty ate the dog treat and I just gave the dog one too. So, so we made it to, I guess this will fall under Strumica, great area. And uh, we're going to walk up to see the waterfalls. So far, this is what it looks like. We can hear it. We don't know how much of a walk we have because none of us have been. And luckily we're all wearing sneakers and we made it to the waterfalls it was literally like a 20 minute incline mainly stairs one little section went downhill but i'm so puffed took my time but i did it so now i'm currently having a seat so i'm just sitting i thought i'd share it with you guys it's small but it's lovely so hello everyone If you like white noise, you will love it here because you can hear it the whole time in the background. So the water comes down through there. We've got some seats here, which is really nice. But that's an example of where well, we just came down this little section, but they're quite steep, the steps. So otherwise you go up through there and around the mountain. On my phone now, here's the waterfall. I had my two second break. I don't think you can see the sweat as much on me now, but this is it's really quite nice. I'm probably going to go have a seat now because it's a hike on the way back. <laughs> Is everyone down there? I started my descent or uh, ascent up the hill as they all come. But apparently we're going to go to some other waterfalls that aren't as much hiking as this. For now, this is a little bit of a straight, but actually should be more of a downhill on the way back. But you can hear the water. There's Christian. This little chess set here if you want to play. So we've come to a restaurant further down the road where we're going to I guess have something to eat and go do bathroom break. Our table wasn't ready so we've come back out. The boys are having a game of chess. There's a swimming pool. Oh you should tell me. No I wouldn't have gone. <laughs> These are pretty, these like bike flower things. Then we have, does this not remind you of Geneva, even though we haven't like officially gone to Geneva? But it reminds me of Geneva, the water thing. So nice. And then it's like a little house. Well, we're going to be eating along here, but it's, it's quite so pretty. This area is like really pretty. It is a hotel as well, so there was a swimming pool. I just didn't record because I thought, you know, people are swimming. Oh, and Stan's still recording. It is very sunny. Photo time. Go, no, go, go, go. <laughs> Mitch is taking a photo. Got some shady area. A little bit of a stream here. Well, and a spider web. This is nice and shady. Are these two? Stan's here. chef. <laughs> Where are the boys? The boys are. They're boying. Boys are playing Oh, yeah. Angus is telling me to look at some fish. Oh, they're in the water. The water's a bit dirty, but... Wait. They were like a orangey colour. Oh, they're down there. So this is some another little water area. Oh, they've got those lights would look pretty in the evening. Oh, there's, there's heaps over there. I don't know if you can see them. <laughs> Ponies! This view, this little bridge. It's warm here. Hi, buddy. I don't have anything to give you. So we've now come for a different walk to some other waterfalls.
A little bit steep, but not as steep as the first. But although it's darker in here, it's like more the rainforest style. Yeah, but also there's clouds outside. Oh, I got two. <laughs> and here is this waterfall. I would say it's still high, not as high as the first one. But this one is like a little bit wider out. There's Stansy with the waterfall. It's like actually quite nice now that the sun's sort of hidden. It's nice. There's Angus, Holly, the boys are back there. Where are these going? Angus and Mircha decided to walk up over there. You can see. <laughs> the falls in the back. At least this one wasn't as steep as the other one. Intercept the two people. Selfie. Angus and Mircha. <laughs> Angus did decide to climb up there in Mirche and actually Nathan walked to the top somehow. We're now in, look at the dog. We're named through it in the, I guess the center of the city bit. I got my doggy bag, literally. But that doggy doesn't look hungry, but we'll see. He's following us anyway. We're having a little walk around. Most of the shops close on Sundays. As far as we know, in probably most places in Macedonia, so there aren't any people around. There's a statue here. Go over, Mircha. Oh, where does it say? Oh, there, Gotze Delchev. There we go. <laughs> so, this is the center area. I guess you know what? It's Everything's livelier in the evening here. People aren't really day people. Stopped in for a bit of dessert in Strumica. We're having, it looks like a chocolate lava cake, I hope. Good morning, guys. It is our last day here and we are all packed, pretty much packed. My, I already packed my suitcase the day before yesterday. We dropped it off because we're five people, so we have five suitcases and they're going to fit in the car. So mine is at my mum's and here I've just got the last minute stuff that I wore yesterday, my makeup, toiletries, a few things like that. So I have my backpack and my carry-on, which hopefully I can fit everything in that and then I can rearrange some things that I need to once I get to where my mum is staying at. Our flight doesn't leave until 8 o'clock tonight, so we pretty much have like the whole day still here. My auntie has invited us over for breakfast, so we're going there for breakfast. And then we did want to do like a little bit of shopping, not so much shopping, but kind of like walking around because we have hours to waste. However, well, I mean, my relatives don't live like they live probably about half an hour from the sea, which isn't too far for us, but we're going to have all the suitcases. So we don't know if we want to, because then we've got to go to my auntie's house. So we don't know if we've got to drop off the bags, then go to the city, come back. So we're not sure what the plan is for the day, or we might just rest around. I do need to get myself a deodorant because I am out. I don't have any. I literally like tried to squeeze, roll on the last bit this morning. Hopefully it works. And then we're just going to hang out with my parents, the Rillos, have some lunch and then head on over to the airport. So it's just going to be hopefully a chill day, but we'll see. I did wash my hair this morning and I dried it with my sister's Dyson. I just usually use just the brush to kind of like straighten it out because I feel like when it's straight, my hair will last a few more days. Here they really love to smoke everywhere. It's like we have really enjoyed our stay, but the smoking has really been bothering us because they smoke inside, they smoke outside. The worst thing is when you're eating and they're smoking, it kind of like it ruins it for you. But I feel like I always sink on smoke, no matter what. So I have like a nice fresh shower and then literally you go have breakfast somewhere and the person next to you is smoking. I'm sure they have laws that you can't have, that you can't smoke inside because we see the signs. But uh, it, it's one of those where they don't really obey them. Apart from that, just like a bit of a wind up, we have had a great stay. It's been really great having the unit here like even though we're two like separate units it's just been great having a home base for us so then we can go and visit the rest of the country but still have somewhere to like put all our stuff we, we kind of made it into a mess because as you do when you're at home everything is everywhere but it's been really good so i feel like if you ever do come to macedonia i really think it's worth it to get yourself a unit or if you know a hotel's perfectly fine but we've stayed in the area of Kadbosh, which is really really walking distance to the city which is great. Also though, we're very close to the area with all the restaurants. So there's like so many things around here. So even you walk to the city, you pass through shops and stuff like that. So it's still happening per se, but it's also been great for us because we've been close to family and it's been so good that we've been able to see family and do a lot of things, especially with my cousin Goran and his wife. Like we've had so many outings, which has been really great. So we actually have really enjoyed our time. Like I knew we were gonna have a good time, but like, 
you know sometimes you're just like i don't know but our next adventure will begin we are going to geneva for the next few days and then we're going home because i'm his chippy and i can't wait to give him a big cuddle we are at my auntie's house for breakfast my auntie made us some piroshki which is it's like a crepe with the inside there's ham and cheese and then some krofni some salad this is the vilka what do you have He's a bit bright, my son is in my bag, but we're at my auntie and uncle's house and we're leaving now, probably anytime soon, I've got my backpack on my back, we're taking, I think, three cars to get there because we have so much luggage, but I thought I'd do one last view of it all before we go. The front yard, still didn't figure out what those long standing things are over there, and then Nathan with the Christmas tree, everybody up there. Everyone's we'll waving to me. My, my dad, we're trying to figure out who's going where. Where's the kitty? Uh, no See you later, chickens. Every time you get close, they always run off. Bye, chickens. <laughs> Bye, buddy. So I'm so sorry, sweetie, but oh my god, you jump way too much. You're gonna jump. Are you gonna dirty my top? All right, you can jump on my legs. You just scratched my legs, though. Oh, okay, okay, sweetie. I see you. I'll see you maybe one day. Bye, honey. Can't find the cat, but I'm gonna bid you a farewell. Because I know everything after here just goes, you know how it is, like busy, busy, busy. So we're going to the airport and uh, I will catch you guys probably in Geneva. Mm -hmm.